This is an overview of my projects 2A, 2B, and 2C regarding the MBA statistical data set provided by Kaggle. Here's some background on our data set. So this regards the National Basketball Association's individual statistics for every single player since the 1998 and 99 season. This is an extremely deep and wide range of data holding many different facets of an individual player's performance, including points per game, rebounds per game, assists per game, and advanced metrics such as field goal percentage, three-point percentage, and etc. Data, visual data visualization matters for a data set like this because stats are everything in the NBA. Individual metrics are used to determine a player's value, and displaying this in an intuitive manner helps convey certain claims. For example, if a coach wanted to track a player's performance throughout the pre previous season and decide whether or not he wants to sign them for his team, he would look at the data set regarding that player's performance over the last few seasons. For our first visualization, we're going to talk about James Harden. He's a two-time MVP, and his play style has dramatically evolved over the last 10 years. We can plot the combination of his average points and assists per game in a season on a scatter plot. Now, this is interesting because towards the beginning of his career, he tended to average less points per game and less assists per game. This is a good example because his peak in performance is very noticeable in this plot. An assist throughout every single season in his career displayed on a scatter plot. On the x-axis, we have the average assists ranging from 0 to 11. On the y-axis, we have the average points ranging from 0 to 35. You may notice this key in the top right corner displaying each color of each plot and what it means. Every color represents a different season in his career. Using this and the interactive tools I've implemented for this visualization, user, users are able to explore this data set. By taking a look on the left-hand side and looking at his average assists, we can see the lowest he's ever averaged was around a little under two points, two assists per game. And in that season, he averaged around 10 points a game. By hovering over this plot, we can see the season that this data was from. You see it's the 2009-2010 season, and we can see the specific numbers for this plot. Now, if we wanted to see what year his highest performing, his highest scoring was in, we'd go to the y-axis, go to the highest one, which is this one right here, over 35 points per game in the 2018 and 2019 season. This is the year he won the MVP. He averaged seven and a half assists per game and 36.1 points per game. For our second visualization, we're gonna, we're gonna show the MVP winners by position over the last 20 years. This is an interesting visualization because the award tends to go to ball handling scores. And there's speculation on how the winners of the MVP award in the NBA has been unfairly decided. In the most recent season, the data set, Nikola Jokic, a center, won the award. This is unprecedented. The MVP award has been historically dominated by any other position. Looking at a list of the last 25 winners on their position is one way to see the distribution of the award winners, but ineffective when trying to understand the prevalence of a certain position in the MVP race. However, displaying this data in the form of a bar chart is of a pie chart is easily the most effective way to convey this information. In this pie chart, you can see each segment of the pie represented by a different color, each color representing a different position. Immediately, we notice that the orange slice is the most prevalent in this pie. This represents the point forward position, 
and they and by hovering over the slice you can see that over the last 25 years they've won eight of the awards we can do this for the rest of the positions showing that point guard is one six shooting forward has won four shooting guard has won four and the center has only won three one of which was last year For our third visualization, we will be observing LeBron James' average point and assist per game each season of his career so far. A double bar chart is a great option for displaying this data, with the total numbers of each respective set on the y-axis and the progression of the seasons on the x-axis. We are able to see the progression of both these stats throughout his career. If we focus on the assists, we can, vi we can visually see the progression of this stat throughout the timeline. This is an interesting data set specifically for this player because LeBron James is known for his longevity and maintaining a standard for his level of play throughout his entire career. As you'll see, both stats in this bar chart are very consistent throughout his 20 year span in the league. Any other player would show a massive drop-off in either of these stats at some point in their career, running career average in points and assists. On the x-axis, we have each bar labeled by either assist or points, assists represented by blue and points represented by orange. Additionally, on the, on the x-axis, we have each season of his career so far, ranging from the 2003-2004 season to the 2021-22 season. On the y-axis, we have a value, a numerical value ranging from zero to 30, which is where these metrics could lie between. At a glance, we can see that ever since his first season, he's been averaging well over 25 points per game. And if we take a look at the blue columns, which represent assists, we can see that he's ranged between five assists and 10 assists per game. This is very interesting because we can see how steady both these metrics are throughout this 20 year span. For example, any other average player would show a couple seasons with ranges such as this, and then an immediate drop off towards the end of their season. For our last visualization, we're gonna demonstrate and show you the phenomenon of the increase of three-pointers taken since this data set has been recorded. The modern NBA is, is characterized by perimeter play, meaning that there is a priority in taking three-point shots. In the past, interior play styles were used with close to the rim games it's rare to see a three-pointer attempted at all. With the emergence of players like Steph Curry, the game has changed. If we aggregate the total of three-point attempts taken by every single player in every season, we have very useful data to demonstrate the story. And I think using a time series plot with the season on the x-axis and the range of three-point attempts on the x-axis, we are clearly able to see the dramatic increase of three-point attempts since 1998. As you'll see, it has more than tripled since the season. This time series line graph to show the dramatic increase of three point attempts since the 1997-98 season. So immediately we can see how dramatic this change was and it was gradual. In the 1997-98 season, we see that there was a total of 578 three-point attempts taken across every single player on every single team in every single game of the season. If we jump forward to the 2021-22 season, we see that there was a total of 2,059 total attempts taken. This is marked by the introduction of Steph Curry in the NBA. He's been argued to revolutionize the way the game is played and this is very shown very much around the 2011-2012 season when he first started playing. When he first joined the league, 
the league was at around 800 three-point attempts taken every season. And now every season it's increased dramatically.